Installing WordPress through a cPanel involves three very simple steps. First, logging into your cPanel, then creating a domain or setting up the domain or subdomain that you want to install WordPress on, and then the actual installation itself. So let's start with step one, logging into your cPanel. Usually when you sign up for a web host, they'll send you some information to access your control panel with a username and password like I've got here, which I'm going to blank out, obviously. Click on that link. It should take you to a page like this where you can enter your username and password to log in to cPanel. So that's step one. So we're in, we're into our cPanel. Second step, set up your domain or subdomain. If you've already purchased a domain, you should be able to just enter your domain. So just scroll down to domains and click on that there, domains. Now you can see I've set up a whole number of uh, subdomains here, but you should be able to, um, if you haven't already, create a new domain with your website.com. Or in my instance, I'm going to create a new one called Jim's plumber.emediacoach.com. I'm creating a subdomain, right? So you may just want to create a top level domain, which would be your website.com. I'm creating a subdomain, which is Jim's plumber.emediacoach.com. I'm going to create that because once that domain or subdomain has been created, the third thing is to actually install WordPress. So if I now go back to my cPanel, some of you will have a WordPress manager on the side over here, but some of you won't. So if you don't have that, just scroll down and look for an area that allows you to install WordPress software. Sometimes it's called the one-click install. When you click on that, then click install, you now want to set up your installation. So you want to, from this drop down, select the domain or subdomain on which you wish to install WordPress. For our example, I want to install it on jimsplumber.emediacoach.com. You need to leave the directory blank. Now I've got a SSL certificate installed. If you don't know about that, ignore it. It doesn't make a difference. It'll just mean mine has a HTTPS. Yours will have a HTTP, that's all good. Enter your username and password, something that you'll remember. Um, write it down, save it somewhere. Ensure that you also enter your admin email because then you can receive any, you can reset your password if you forget it and that'll be your the management email associated with your WordPress installation. Um, I like to ensure that all of these optional extras are deselected. I don't like to add any extra plugins or bloat or automatic updates. I like to ensure that that's done manually. So after that's done, click install. Um, it's telling me I need to upgrade PHP. Yep, all good. Let's do that. When it's done, you'll see that WordPress will have been installed on the domain that you select. So if you open that up in a new window, you'll see a fresh installation of WordPress. And more importantly, to manage your website, this is the admin dashboard URL. So it's your URL, sorry, I mean your domain forward slash WP dash admin. If you open that, that is where you will be able to manage your entire WordPress website. Now, if I log out for a second, that is where you enter the username and, um, oh, it's because I'm already logged in. That is where you enter the username and password that you created when you just installed WordPress a minute ago. So that's everything done.